Aquarius, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to see what's happening for you in love, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, it's for March, for April. Time is fluid, okay? Let's jump right in. Um, if you want a personal love reading, check me out. The link is in the description box. You can also head right over to my Etsy shop and buy a reading there. I have um, Oracle decks for sale as well as spiritual jewelry. So check me out. If this resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And check out your bonus reading up on Vimeo. Um, how does your person feel? Okay, we're going to look at your person's energy deeper and see what's really going on. Emotions, feelings, what are they not saying, all that, okay? Let's jump right in. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. What's happening? I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot for your main spread, okay? I ain't ready. All right, Aquarius, what is the challenge uh, for you guys in love? What is the challenge for my Aquariuses out there in love? Let's see. All right, well, the challenge for us all, right? The challenge is the Ten of Pentacles to get some kind of commitment, right? So you guys may be looking for a commitment from someone here, okay? Or maybe it could be a family situation, a home, a marriage. Maybe there's something here that's been a little bit rocky, okay? What is going on today with these cards? All right, let's see what the current energy is between you and your person, Aquarius. Ooh, the tower, shake up, scorpion energy. There's some, been some kind of... Big, big change, okay, between you and your person. Things are very rocky right now. With that tower, it could be, you know, a blessing in disguise. Something here had to come tumbling down in order for something to be rebuilt on a solid structure. That tower could be secrets, deception. It could be chaos, drama, fighting, arguing, okay? Um, we do got the emperor in reverse, Aquarius. So whoever you're dealing with, what the hell? You're dealing with someone who is, they could be very controlling, okay? They could be someone who... um. Or just simply someone who just wasn't making the right decisions here, okay, Aquarius? This is someone who uh, you may have respected. And it could be, um, it could be someone that you actually, you, you really thought highly of at one point. And I feel like this is someone who may have done something to cause this tower, okay? And, the, and so I'm seeing that things have definitely gone down a different a road here, okay, with this emperor. And I feel... It's like I don't I'm getting you don't know how to get things back on target, right? There's been some chaos here. And there's been some misdirection. Maybe your person was misdirected or misguided. I'm getting they missed their they're guiding this connection down the wrong path is what I'm seeing. And there's been a lot of challenges here. There's a lot of uncertainties regarding this connection right now because things are just crazy and chaotic. So that's what I'm seeing here. There's a lot of, um, this isn't for everybody. It's some heavy energy here right now. So Aquarius, what happened in the past? The page of rods. So your person was slipping, uh, slipping off. This is someone, I feel some of you guys, you could have found out something. There's some kind of news. It could have been related to a child. Um, but I'm also seeing that there was something here where someone stopped putting an effort or someone stopped desire any other person someone stop putting an energy into this uh relationship six of pentacles came out of verse yeah aquarius you're dealing with someone who who was breadcrumbing you well, all of a sudden they pulled back they weren't giving equally there was a lack of reciprocity here and it could be related to something that came out that maybe there was some kind of news here you guys found out that this person wasn't equally contributing and that could have caused this tower moment now aquarius on your mind is Ooh, the Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, deceiving. The person did something here and are trying to get away with it. That's what you guys are thinking of. The Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you guys, I'm getting, okay, first I'm getting two children. I keep getting children for some reason. Um, but I'm also seeing that your person, you're, you may be wanting to extend something here. What's this Page of Pentacles about for Aquarius? Let's get this message here. Okay, so a lot of you guys, um, I think you guys want some kind of communication about something here. There's something that you found out, okay? You found out about the Seven of Swords, something that this person was trying to sneak around and get away with, okay? They're being very deceptive or hiding something. And that High Priest is about secrets, something that wasn't being revealed to you, okay? And it's coming out. It's coming out. The Tower, oh yeah, it's coming out. This person can't hide. What's going on? Yeah, 
things have been stuck. I'm getting, you know, you're dealing with the Pisces. Some of you guys got the hangman in the foundation. So things are stuck with this person. The seven of wands in reverse. The devil is in your person's energy. Go figure, right? Capricorn energy. Let's see. I'm going to take all those cards. And the justice. Ooh, what is going on? Sounds like some karmic justice here. All right. So... We got Libra energy, we got Capricorn, we got Pisces very strongly. So I'm seeing that your person, they don't know what to do. They don't have no idea. They don't have no, they don't not know what to do right now. And I'm seeing that your person knows like there's something that your person's doing that was very toxic. Okay. And I feel like there was an imbalance because, um, you know, their person created the imbalance. The justice could have been a marriage here between you and your person. Okay. Or, um, some of you guys, they were already in a marriage. That could have been the secret, okay? But the seven of wands in verse, there were blocks here. There were some things that your person didn't want to share with you, okay? There's some things that are coming out and being being revealed. Wow, there's some, what is going on? Coming into the moment, we do got the knight of rods and the eight of swords, Leo, Sag, Aries. So something may be coming towards you. Some of you guys, I feel like you're in that stuck energy with that uh, Eight of Swords, Aquarius. Because there's something here that you weren't aware of. And I'm just getting the things all of a sudden is like coming out. Like from all different all different uh, directions here. And a lot of you guys, you have not gotten the clarity as to what's really happening. Because your person hasn't been taking action here. I don't feel like your person really has been communicating with you at all. Okay, I think a lot of what you're finding out is through other sources or something here because I feel like a lot of you guys are still blindfolded. You're feeling stuck in a situation. Maybe you're feeling stuck in the connection with your person or just stuck in your head. It's, it could be a mindset. Okay, so the Knight of Rods, we're going to find out what that person is. Again, it could be someone who wants to come towards you. The wheel is going to move in your favor though. So if you guys are feeling like right now, there's been a lot of... Oh, just craziness, chaos. Um, things are going to be moving in the right direction for you guys. The four of pentacles in reverse. So there's something that your person's been holding on to, and I'm seeing they're finally going to be letting it go. It could be it could be sharing of information with you as well, right? The page of pentacles is in your energy. Maybe you guys are getting a message from your person, but I feel like they've been very guarded. They've been guarding something, and I think it has to do with this devil and the justice card. Okay, they could have been very much hiding another again another a marriage or commitment or family situation they could have been hiding something that was toxic some kind of addiction some kind of uh an, another connection even okay and i feel like they've been really trying to keep that from you but something is coming out with that tower and i don't know what it is but it's like your person has no control over this anymore that emperor universe he has no control wow all right let's get a one more card here for the four pentacles for five of cups. So your person, whatever's coming out, your person is hella regretful. They feel really bad now, right? Now they feel really bad. They feel guilty as they should, right? Um, really guilty, really, really remorseful over something that's coming out. Something, but is something's moving forward in your favor though. That's what I'm seeing here. The ten of cups in reverse. There's something that's yeah. It is a very unhappy situation, but I think a lot of you guys, you may feel stuck coming into the moment, but I'm almost seeing that you guys are going to release this. Like, this is for the good. There's something that's clearing out with that tower. It's not comfortable to go through, but it's very much necessary. And whatever's coming to light, again, whatever's coming out, the veil is coming off. You're finding out whatever has been going on, Aquarius. So if you feel like kept in the dark right now, I think that that tower is going to shake things up and reveal something here that you've been wanting to know. Or you just didn't know about to begin with, okay? Um, the Nine of Swords, I feel... Let's get one more card on that. Why is the Nine of Swords here? It could be you or your person. Knight of Pentacles. I feel a lot of you guys... You're you're moving forward, okay? I feel with the Knight of Pentacles, there's something here. It may take some time for you to get your stability back, okay? You may feel kind of stuck and tied to the situation in some way. But I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, you slowly will be regaining your strength and moving forward here with the Knight of Pentacles. This is, you know, it takes time, but I think that you guys are gonna get you're gonna snap back and you're gonna move forward. So let's let's jump into the clarification point. Uh, part of the reading and if this is your reading like share comment and subscribe this is not for everyone else i hope y'all not all dealing with this because this is some heavy energy here all right the tower shake up okay um 
What's this tower about? Scorpion energy. We got the Emperor in reverse. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, that's what the tower is about. It causes some kind of betrayal, some kind of ending. A lot of you guys, you feel like you got stabbed in the back by some kind of uh, some person here. With the Emperor in reverse, could be male or female, doesn't matter. But this is someone who lacks direction. They may have done something here that was very um, hurtful. Okay. Why is the Emperor in reverse? And now they lack control. Now they're trying to make a decision. The Two of Wands. They could have been very indecisive or something. Maybe they had two options. A lot of you guys are in that energy of what do I do now? Which way do I go? In the past, there was some kind of communication that came out. Eight of Cups. Maybe a person walked away. Maybe they they walked away and someone wants to return. There's some kind of returning in, uh, energy here. Six of Pentacles in reverse. What's this about? Someone was definitely breadcrumbing or keeping you as an option. The, the world... The world came out in reverse. So I think a lot of you guys, you know, you don't like to hear it, but something happened for a reason. This happened for a reason. Because I think a lot of you guys, this person was trying to get away with something for some time. And I feel that now something is being revealed. Something is coming out. The high priestess came out in reverse here. Yeah, five of cups. And you may feel like, oh my goodness, I can't believe this is very disappointing. But there's also regrets. Some of you guys have regrets about even dealing with this person. Why is it Seven of Swords? Yeah, because they had all secrets. You, Some of you guys, you even knew intuitively that something was off with this person. And you still contributed to the connection. You still give this person the benefit of the doubt. But you know, you learn your lesson. The death card. There's an ending here. You learn your lesson. You're closing out a cycle. The Ten of Swords. It was difficult, but the, the death card is transformation. It's change. Right? Um, your person, we got the justice card, the devil. You look at that. We got the king of wands for your person. King of wands in reverse. This person was definitely out of control. Out of control. In and out of your life. Very wishy-washy, unreliable. This is someone who, it's like they'll promise you something, but they'll never do it. They don't follow through with their actions. But we do got the ace of swords. This is something that maybe your person wants to, now they want to speak. Now they have something to say. Because they've been in the dark for some time. They've been kind of like holding back. The hangman and the sun in reverse. They have not given you the clarity. That's why a lot of you guys have been stuck with the eight of swords. They have not been giving you the clarity. But they're thinking about communicating now. Maybe they're thinking about communicating about what this devil is. Or some kind of toxicity or something here that has uh, came out with that tower. Could have been related to a marriage or some kind of legal situation. Some of you guys are in a legal situation with your person. And you, you're lacking clarity of what's going to happen, what's going on, what the holdup is. or some kind of lack of change here. Something has not been moving forward. Coming into the moment, the Knight of Wands, something is going to move forward. Got the Queen of Wands here. Leo, Sag, Aries. Now, if this is not your energy, it could be someone else. Okay. What's this uh, Eight of Swords here about? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys know the water sign or, or a fire sign. But what I'm seeing, yeah, there's definitely, there's, there is some ties here. There's some, someone is stuck. Someone is feeling stuck and tied and bound to something here. Give me one more card here. All these court cards, all these damn people. Tower, tower twice? What the hell? Got the tower coming out in reverse now. So something here, you're going to get through it. Aquarius is telling me that the tower in the current moment, but coming into the moment, thing, you're going to get past this. Wherever this is about, it's coming in. It's going to be very abrupt. It's going to be very uncomfortable, but you're going to get through this. You're going to overcome this tower. The wheel is moving in your favor, Aquarius. Something is changing, but I think you guys are no longer giving to the situation with this person. The Empress in reverse. You're not dealing with this emperor anymore is what I'm seeing for a lot of you guys. Okay, maybe may have been you may have felt like this was a divine connection you guys were meant to be, but this person too much damn drama, and you guys are choosing not to nurture and move forward with this connection anymore. Four Pentacles and Five of Cups. Your person is definitely yeah. They made poor decisions and they're realizing it now. Look at that. Look at their person in regret, regret, remorse because of bad decisions that they've made over and over and over, and it's cost the it's cost this connection because this is some kind of breakup. I think a lot of you guys have been wanting, you know, some kind of stability with this person with the Ten of Pentacles. But this is a situation here I think is not making you happy. Ten of Cups in verse. Yeah, I think you guys, you're moving forward. The Ace of Wands, it could be a new beginning coming for you guys. Maybe there's something that you're passionate about and you're moving toward that. But you don't see happiness with your person anymore. Ten of Cups came out in reverse. This is unfulfilling. 
But I think a lot of you guys are getting, you're inspired to, to take some kind of change in your life, to move forward. Maybe you guys are just, you have a new passion and not a new desire, a new hobby, a new business or something. Maybe you guys are moving forward with. Yeah, but you're pulling back from this. Some of you guys, are, it's a Leo you're connecting with. I see you guys are giving up on something here. Okay, yeah, this is a defeat. Feeling like this is a lose-lose situation. So, you know, it is a loss. You guys are letting it go. You're moving away from this. But I do feel like you guys are building a future. A lot of you guys, you know, it's you're going to keep... You're going to still feel maybe tied to this in some way, but I feel energetically you are working on um, disconnecting and moving forward with the Knight of Pentacles towards your own stability, uh, a new chapter in your life. Again, this is something here that you're leaving, but I do feel the Ace of Wands or something here that you are, you're very passionate about. Maybe you guys have gone through some experience, maybe you're very passionate about learning about your spirituality, okay? It could be a new... Um, new skill that you're learning, okay? But I think that you guys are letting this go because this is too much drama. Uh, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? You're working on your stability or something. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you're choosing not to work on this connection. Even though you saw stability at one point, it's telling me that you're no longer putting efforts into this with the Eight of Pentacles in verse, okay? So whoever this person is, you're letting it go, okay? That tower, it was very destructive. It was big. It was groundbreaking. It changed the course of the connection. I say this is not making you happy anymore and you're pulling back. All right, so Aquarius, that was heavy, I know, um, but let me know if this does resonate for you guys. Um, check out your bonus reading. You guys all take care. All right, have a great week.